Anna Sergeyevna Kornikova was born on 7 June 1981 in Moscow, then Russian SFSR, and became one of the most successful and famous tennis players in the world through her talent and also her good looks. Despite the fact that Anna is now unable to play tennis professionally because of her injuries, she still remains very popular and participates in various projects, including charity events. During her career, Anna won two singles and 16 doubles titles and other competitions, reaching number eight in the world rankings. What is more, Anna has won such awards as WTA Newcomer of the Year and WTA Doubles Team of the Year. So, just how rich is Anna Kornikova? It is estimated by Celebrity.Money that Anna's net worth is over $60 million as of mid-2017, mainly gained during her career as a tennis player, which spanned from 1995 until 2007. Her sponsorships with various companies have also added to this sum. What is more, Anna has many other activities which also help to increase her net worth. Anna's parents were both well-known athletes, so there is a high chance that this influenced her choice to become a tennis player. Anna started playing tennis from a very young age and steadily improved her skills. She was part of the Spartak Tennis Club, where Anna started participating in various competitions from eight years of age and gained more and more attention from others, such that when she was just 10 years old, she started training at Nick Boletari's Tennis Academy in Florida. Four years later, Kornikova won the European Championship and this was the time when her net worth really began growing. She continued showing great results at various tournaments and soon she gained the titles of Junior European Champion Under 18 and ITF Junior World Champion. In 1995, Anna won the Federation Cup with the Russian team and this had a huge impact on the growth of Anna's net worth. In 1999, Anna and Martina Hingis won the Australian Doubles Grand Slam title, proving that she was successful in doubles as well. Unfortunately, in 2001, Anna experienced several injuries and was not able to play for some time. However, Anna recovered and was later able to achieve more results. In 2002, she and Martina Hingis were able to win the Australian Open again, and this added to Anna's net worth. Sadly, Anna again experienced some severe injuries and finally decided to stop her professional career as a tennis player. However, her net worth was by then considerable. Anna still plays in some charity events so her fans are able to see her playing. As mentioned, Anna has involved herself in many other projects. She has even appeared in the movie called Me, Myself and Irene, and in the television show entitled The Biggest Lover. These also added to her net worth. To talk about Anna's personal life, it can be said that in 2001, there were rumors that she married Sergei Fedorov, but at the same time, she started a relationship with Enrique Iglesias. There were again rumors that they had married, but these continue to be unconfirmed, although they are believed to be partners.